And welcome to this week's edition of the John Peacock Coach Show. I'm John Massoni here with Venice Indian head football coach John Peacock. And coach, we weren't here last week because a, a, a little storm came. A little, a little friend named Medalia showed up, yeah. and uh, we were uh, obviously it was during our taping time, so we decided to do this, the prudent thing and and not, not not do the show last week. But we did have we did have a game. Uh, everything seemed to work out okay as far as you know. Luckily, the storm. Uh, luckily, not for us, not for other places, but. We had more sort of a storm, stormy day, and and uh, and we managed to get through it. But we did have a game on on Friday night. Uh, went up to Coco, and uh, was a, was a, fell victim to them, 31-21, and obviously uh, something that uh, I know you're correcting and lo- looking to looking to move forward from. Yeah, you know there was obviously there's some good things and bad things uh, from the game, just like any other. Um, you know, one of the bright spots, you know, offensively, we were able to overcome uh, multiple situations where we were found ourselves in first and 20 or second and 20 and were able to come up with a first down and keep the drive moving. There was one drive uh, where we started at our own two yard line and you know overcame two um, second and 20 situations and a third, I think a third and 19 yeah. situation we overcame and we're able to keep moving the ball and score and you know bring that game within three at that time. And just we kind of, you know, kept going back and forth. They'd go up by 10, and we'd score, and we'd, we'd be down by by three. And then at the end, um, we end up fumbling on a kickoff, and it kind of sealed the deal for Coco. But, you know, they're a really good football team and a um, uh, really, really tough place to play um, if you're a visiting team. And um, But like I said, uh, you know, there were some bright moments in the game, and – there are some not so bright moments in the game. We had a hard time stopping their quarterback. They're, you know, on film we were watching these this quarterback and he threw, you know, three interceptions the week before and. Um, yeah, and, he was on fire at twenty five or thirty two yeah. completion percentage. Then, yeah. Then we we show up and he's you know had a night of his life was perfect, throwing the ball and the receivers did a great job catching the ball and. Um, you know, there's a reason that they won the state championship last year, and there's a reason that <laughs> and that's what I was I was going to say. Yeah. They're state champions. Yeah. I mean, they're just, we're playing good football. We're playing good football teams, and um, we're coming up a little short. And uh, you know, if you look back, Coco, the Coco game in 21, when we won the state championship, we won by a, a one point. Yes. You know, they missed the extra point. So, um, you know, it doesn't make anything right or feel better. You know, I'm, I'm not real happy that we're sitting here 0 and 2, and I know our players are not happy with that. And uh, you know, we just got to make sure that we, you know, keep keep kind of putting our head down and doing what we're supposed to do. We know what we're doing is right. We have the we have the formula. Um, we just came up short these last two weeks, and you know, we play in a one of the premier programs in the state of Florida this Friday. And who knows? We may be sitting here on three. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, they're we're playing a great program. We're playing a great team. They won. Uh, they beat Miami Jackson seventy to. I think seven or something like this this past week. So uh, we're going to have our hands full again, and we're going to be playing in um, what some people claim is the mecca of high school <laughs> high school sports, um, you know, at, at Traz Powell Stadium. And I'm sure it's going to be, you know, similar situations where, you know, they're the home team and they're going to be getting calls, and we're going to have to overcome stuff Saturday, Friday, or Saturday, actually Saturday. Saturday afternoon, yeah. six or Saturday evening, six, right, six, six o'clock. o'clock. Um, Talk about the, earlier about the penalties. One of the things outside of the yardage lost, way you practice, way you play, your tempo, any penalty that's a five yarder or a fifteen yarder, yeah, it slows it it's going to slow it down, and it gets it's kind of kind of hard to rev up that engine sometimes when you when it, when it's consistently being called. Well, we uh, were able to. Situations. I thought that's one thing we were able to do. We had some good tempo and uh, we ran a lot of plays. It's just that you know, it's hard to continually get in those situations. And overcome those, you know, third and third and twenty and second and twenty. That's you're putting yourself in a tough situation yeah. where you got to be really, really consistent and and do some really good things to overcome that. And and we did um, on three drives. I want to say three drives. We overcame multiple um, first, second, or third and twenty situations, and were able to get first downs and move the sticks and, right. and actually get get points on the board. So. That's one thing, and that's that, that's always one thing we look at um, as a staff. Like, 
you know, you get you get these. Sometimes you have a good football team, but you don't have the personnel to be able to overcome those situations. So you have to almost be like perfect. And every time there is a a holding call or whatever it may be, um, you're never able to overcome them. But we we have shown that we can overcome that. Yeah. And that's a great thing. That's a really good thing for us. Um, so I can't downplay that enough that that we were able to to do that and. Um, you know, and I, I, you, I could sit here and say a million different things of, you know, trying to make people feel better or feel better about it. But the bottom line is, we lost the game. Coco played better than us. You know, hats off to them, and um, we're gonna we're gonna move forward. You, you learn. Yep. You can. These are reference point moments. You, these are these are situations where, and with adversity in any game, it can be in the first quarter, it could be in the fourth quarter. Right. But you can reference back and say, you know, these these, these some of these situations that happen now can be, you know points of reference for, for, for moving that's on that's exactly future. what we told them is we're going to be able to look back at this um in a few weeks and and just you know say it was just just a small road bump right and, um you know football's about adversity um, everything yeah. everything about Absolutely. it you know the training part and you know we're, we're facing a little adversity right now and i'm sure that the kids are hearing a bunch of uh negative stuff and a bunch of there's gonna be people questioning and doubting um you know, and I just told him, just hey, listen, just keep your head down, keep working. I've, we've been we've been here before. Um, it's not like every state championship we've ever been to. We've been undefeated. Yeah. We, we haven't had an undefeated team yet, and we've been to we've been to four state championships. You know, last year we went and we were what uh, nine and three. Yeah, nine and three. Yeah, and like I said, in, in way the schedule is set up too. So we always know that it's going to be a tough schedule. Yeah, we're going to be ready. So you're going to be ready, and I think that's the thing that. In particular, I I look at the I look at the way the team is progressing um, from you know the, the last scrimmage that you had before the season started, and you look at it and you see things look right, things look the, there's more of the, the the tempo looks better, everything looks a little better. It's just getting over these sort of the around these little right. little, little bumps in the road, and then figuring out how to do it. And sometimes just figuring out just means you got to just play a little harder, concentrate yeah. a little harder. You know, the little things like that you say like, well, everybody kind of. It wasn't one big glaring problem, but it was just a bunch of little mistakes. Well, that's the that's what causes problems, and then the, the team is able to other teams are able to capitalize on that stuff, and lo and behold, that's that's what. Can yeah, happen. when you're playing, like I said, when you're playing uh, teams that are are you know powerful and powerhouses in our state and state champions, and you know Miami North, Northwestern has multiple national championships yeah. and multiple 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 state championships. You know they're gonna they're going to be able to capitalize on your mistakes and same way we will against our other opponents. That's right. And, uh, it's just, you know, teams we've been playing, <laughs> haven't been making too many mistakes it's lately. That it, that's, that's, and it, and it will, it'll flip. Right. And then you got to be ready to be ready, be prepared for that kind of situation. I will right. right, we'll take a quick break here, come back and look at the highlights from the Coco game on uh, last Friday night. And I like the reference as well that we're here at bogeys as we are every week for the John Pico Coaches Show. A great show. salad today. Yeah, and we Taco definitely, yeah. salad, yeah. No doubt is the food's good, and it's getting to be that time where football season is cranking up uh, on every level uh, for pro football starting this Thursday. Uh, as, as, we're, as we're speaking, uh, I'll see you guys on TV right now. Right. The games are getting, getting ready and, and looking forward to that. And the, a full slate of college football games, some really exciting games and some stuff that uh, everybody can look forward to. So come on to Bogies and, and watch some games and enjoy some good salads we had. With that, we'll be back shortly after these messages to look at the highlights from Friday night's Cocoa Game. We would like to take a moment to thank these sponsors for making this show a possibility. Jenkins Chevrolet, State College of Florida, Bogies of Venice, Venice Pest Control, Sarasota Ford, Absolute Aluminum, Chick-fil-A Pelican Plaza, Douglas Jeep, and Lightning Fast Car Wash. Education, career, skill. Find yours right here at the State College of Florida. If you want a flexible schedule with classes offered on campus and online, plus several program options for in-demand fields, look no further. Create your own path today at scf.edu. And welcome back to the John Peacock Coach Show. And Coach, again, uh, Friday night, we, uh, we past Friday night against Coco. There's plenty of highlights because there's plenty good, there's plenty of good stuff that happened. Then. It's just the, the final outcome wasn't what right. We wanted. Yeah. So with that, we'll get our highlight uh, package cranked up. Here we go. It was the first game we ended up uh, taking the ball, so we had the ball to start the game, and uh, we came out and we did a really nice job. You know, Jaden was not right on the money. Our receivers caught the ball. I want to say the first six plays here, the highlight film, were the first exact six plays, six plays of the game. 
Oh. And they were just, they were it was every, everything was right on target. Everybody was where they needed to be, and the tempo was there where, where you like it. Yeah, it looked, it looked really good. The runs were there. You see, we're fitting up on our blocks. Um, we got a holding call there. I, I thought I thought we did a nice job fitting up there. We were able to overcome that. Um, Charles Lester. See, Charles great. Lester has a great great throw and catch here, and he ends up making uh, 20, 26 yard or thirty yards actually a thirty yard gain or thirty five yard gain, whatever it may be. But able to get us out of that hole that we dug ourselves, and um, and then eventually uh, we ended up uh, putting the ball on the ground, and they were able to recover. You see there's a Carl there. It's a nice catch for a first down. But everything was looking really good. You know, I was really happy the way we came out and got off the bus and played, you know, started off the playing, and defense came out and got a stop. Um, yeah, first quarter was pretty much a stalemate. David Galloway with a good play right there, along with Eli Seed. Yeah, it was. We, we uh, And then the second quarter, you know, we had the ball an awful lot, um, kind of put ourselves in a hole as far as the score goes. But I thought I thought offensively, you know, we did a nice job as far as moving the ball. Yeah, and, and that was a good play right there, Ryan Daly. Yeah, Ryan Daly made a nice play. He strips, yeah. Stripped the runner of the ball. So Yeah, and, and he had the recovery there. It was nice. And like I said, in the, in the first half, even in the second half, a lot of drives started deep in their territory. Yeah, you know? we see there Jaden has a nice read. Yeah. And, Able to pick up 20, 25 yards, and uh, yeah, you know, it was just it's just one of those nights, you know, like there were so many good things, uh, but at the end of the day, you know, the bottom line, you got to score, right? You got to score the points, and, and uh, there was a good play, but it got. I think, this I think it was they back. called a clip on that. That's what it was. That's yeah, why I was thinking called a clip penalty. on that. Yeah, um, but you know, I think we were able to. We weren't able to overcome that one, were we? We had to punt. No, no, because that was yeah, early this is in the game. Drive. Yeah, this is a different drive. Um, no, we, we did overcome it because right there, there's the there's the first down or the third and third our fourth and two situation coming up. This is um, where we go fourth and two. Yeah, and then, fourth yeah. and two. So we get this, um, we get this, and we get a, another holding call that puts us at fourth and three, um, and then we finish up. Uh, we end up getting the fourth and three as well. Yes. Jaden makes a nice throw here to uh, Barksdale. Let's see, we kind of looked and see what we wanted there, but um, Jaden does a nice job of, of finding out who he was going to and uh, makes a nice throw. Yeah, right there. He just does a nice little soft spot yeah. in, the, in the defense, and you make the throw. So we get the first down there, um, but then again, we, uh, we weren't able to overcome the next one. So uh, defense made some plays. Um, but yeah. they they had they had it they were had it going on with the yeah. quarterback and the receiver that's going to Ohio State. Um, they were they were tough. They had a they had a good night. They had a good night too. They just had a little bit better night than we did. That's yeah. All I can say that's it, it was right. I mean, it was with the seventeen fourteen at some point in the second half. So it was it was close. Jaden with a nice nice yeah. run again. And we did a good job fitting up um, to where we had to be with their with our offensive line. Um, just a few too many. And this is a nice play by now, Charles yeah. Lester here. Yeah, Charles makes a nice play, gets us gets us the ball back. Uh, but again, I don't think we're able to uh, capitalize off it, which we, you know, if we were to capitalize off that one, it kind of would have been a different situation. Absolutely. There's uh, Jamaris, Jamaris yeah, makes Wilder. Nice, yeah, makes a nice run. Uh, puts us in a third and three situation, um, but we're again we're in, we're not able to capitalize on it. Um, Alvin made some nice runs. He had I think what he had, had ninety eight about ninety five yards, 95, but but, yeah. but no, no nothing nothing real big breaking. Just a no. lot of real steady running. Gasati uh, Griffin Gasati did a nice job there on that nice catch and getting that field. Um, got a lot of receivers again that saw action. Again, Alvin does a nice job here running the ball. All with a little different skill set, but they all they're effective in their own ways. It's nice to get them all involved too. When, yes, you know, yes. When they're involved, and you can see that in the running game, they're blocking downfield. This keeps them engaged in the game, obviously. And Another nice run by Alvin. Yeah, I think he was on a mission after he had the fumble, fumble in the opening drive. Yeah, that, that's that's you, you. You like to see that. You don't want to see somebody kind of right. You know, get too lost in that. You want you want to you want to get. 
don't do it again, but uh, stay positive with it. Great job by Jaden making a good decision there. Um, gives us the third and five. We're, again, we were going to hold again from a holding call. Gives us the third and five, third manageable. And Alvin does a nice job um, getting Gets inside the, the ten there. And I want to say Jaden finishes off the deal he does. here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he does here. Yeah. Yeah, good touchdown. He read that block pretty well, too. So, Yeah, the offensive line, like I said, for the most part, they were able to, to, to get to their get to where they're supposed to be and lock on and do a good job. Uh, good coverage here by our kickoff team. Yeah, pin him down um, in the corner and then great great play down here just to get him out of bounds. Yeah, they're getting, they're getting better, and our kicker's finally healthy, so that's a good thing. Yes. That, that was a difference. Yeah. That <laughs> was a difference. Good play here by, uh, I want to say it's uh, Carter Dalton. Yeah, Carter Dalton does a nice job. He, he made several plays. Block. Eli C. had a good night. He had, uh, he had a couple sacks. And, and um, about, 11, I think, 11 solo tackles, yeah, too. did a good job. And they had scored after that one play, I think, a long pass to the – so they got they, they, they cashed in on that one. A nice return here by Lester. He had two two nice returns um, that he almost broke. And uh, Zakarl had a nice return and punt. We did a, we did a good job in our return game. Um and we had some did good job in covering most of our kicks and their, their, seed. their seed. Yeah, he made he made several plays uh, Saturday night or Friday night this this week Saturday night. Yeah, <laughs> and that I, was uh, Galloway and I think that was on a third down yeah, too. Yeah, that forced a punt. And yeah, because that's where now we're down. Yeah, inside. they had a, this they had a, a punt drive. down to the two and. We were, this is a drive that I was real pleased with. Um, not pleased with the holding calls, but pleased that we were able to overcome them and uh, move down the field. I think we had two holding calls in this drive, and um, we never powdered about them. We just lined back up and were able to get first downs. Nice throw and catch yeah, there. Yeah, two really athletic plays there by yeah. Jaden and Jace. Did a nice job catching that ball. And here's another uh, this is the one nice gets play called by back. Kasati. I mean, put it right on his numbers. That too. hurt. That hurt. We, yeah. You know, we should, That's such a momentum trigger. That saved us. That would have saved us a lot of time. and Because we, we ended up scoring that drive, but it took us about five minutes. So yeah. We were in a lot of plays. Um, see, Alvin does a nice nice run and getting us kind of back into manageable situation. Probably his longest run of the night right there. Then we have another, another catch here by Jace. This kind of. We get it's called back to holding too. penalty on this um, one. Yeah. So you see, that's I think that was the third one that drive. Yeah, so we went about 120, 28 yards. <laughs> I, said, I said 140. Yeah, yeah. So just pretty close to that. Yeah, probably close. You're probably right. Probably close. To, well, probably we got you got a 70 yarder call back. We're oh yeah, they get that 200 and something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you that forget drive. about the whole play that yeah. got wiped out. And Jamaros with a nice run right there. Yeah, he, like he said he running can hard. Make people miss right in the hole, which is. It's nice when we have a back that can do that. Plenty of time right here. Gets yep. it down to Gets with Barksdale. Final receiver Barksdale makes a nice catch, and he was he was wiped out right there. We had to <laughs> get him a sub, and then uh, Jamar Finnell just finishes off with a touchdown. That that brought us within three, um, but they were able to come right back and and score again, and um, you know move it back to ten and. Good play there by uh, yeah. Charles Lester breaking that pass up. That's the kid, number five. You said that, but that's he's the, I think he's the Ohio State yeah, guy. Yeah, the Ohio State guy, yeah. Three's the one that had the great night, though. I want to say three's a big time recruit as well. And you see right there, that's. Uh, that was Galloway, and then Ashari Charles yeah. gets, the, uh, gets the sack off to the pressure. I want to say Seed ends up with a sack here. No, this is the yeah, it's coming the, up though. I that think. was Papatanakis coming up making yeah. a tackle. Papatanakis and Lee. Lee had some nice. He comes with a nice lot of tackles. energy when he's yes. when he's when he's tackling. He does. He he gets there in a bad mood, and that's what you like. This might be the sack by seed. Yeah, I think, I think it, it is. is. Yep, this is the one. 
They were not expecting that at that point. No, he does a nice job. As he had two big sacks on the night. Well, I like the fact that when he went, to, sometimes the guys blitz that come in just coming so fast they run right by him, and he sort of yeah. broke down and did the right thing on no, that. No, no doubt that happens a lot uh, when you come free. It's got free you. Like we had a make chance, that big chance hit. to block this if we didn't jump in the air. If he would have just ran through there to that block. <laughs> that's twice. That's, that's, uh, yeah, and we, you know what? It's we tell him before we go out. We had a, actually a timeout right for that, and we told him like, do not jump in the air. And they they don't believe us. Just thought if he could have cut left off that yeah. one, he probably great, would have probably great return by Zakarl. Yeah. Good job, good job, and great return by him. And this is where you say we got pushed back on a on a penalty. We're we're second and twenty, I believe, on this at this point. Yeah, we're second and twenty right now. Yeah. Now we lived there. I mean, it was just like yeah, we lived no doubt. There. Jaden with a good quick throw yeah. here. Ryan has a nice catch, and he gets he gets thirteen out of it, you know, yep. quickly. And so now we're in manageable a manageable situation, and then Ryan mm. finishes up finishes yeah, up with Ryan, a touchdown. Ryan but you see, like our our touchdown drives, like we're able to overcome those situations. That's yeah. what I was real happy about because that doesn't always happen. You don't always have a team that can can handle that and do that, and we're able to <laughs> we're able to stick with it and do that now. So that's a good thing. You, you could you couldn't practice that. I mean, no. you can't you can't practice. Well, we're going to do a play. You're going to and you're going to get a penalty. We're going to go backwards. You know, it's. So only in a game situation does that really have the effect that it, that 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 has, and that was the highlights from uh, from Friday night. And coach, like I said, a lot of adversity to overcome. You, you, like I said, you're taking a positive out of that because you said, "Hey, we 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 had to struggle through some things, and we did just you managed to 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 keep going." You know yeah, I mean? you know, like I said, there's there was some really good things, and um, and and that as a coach, and a lot of people don't realize this, but having a team that can overcome those situations. Um, it's huge, and and I, and believe me, I've been on both sides. Uh, the, the 2021 could overcome it. Like they could overcome a, a second and 20 or a third right. and 20 and, right. and make plays. And there's been teams that I've never been. You know, we get a penalty, like might as well just punt it now. Right, because it's done. You know? Yeah. Right. So you're, that was that's a good thing and a good positive we left from there. Well, we'll take a break right now and come back and talk about this Saturday evening, six o'clock start game against Miami Northwestern Bulls. Uh, obviously a perennial power, and we'll do a little talking about what they have to offer this year. We'll be back here at Bogies uh, after this short break. See you back here in a few minutes. We would like to take a moment to thank these sponsors for making this show a possibility. Jenkins Chevrolet, State College of Florida, Bogies of Venice, Venice Pest Control, Sarasota Ford, Absolute Aluminum, Chick-fil-A Pelican Plaza, Douglas Jeep, and Lightning Fast Car Wash. Education, career, skill. Find yours right here at the State College of Florida. If you want a flexible schedule with classes offered on campus and online, plus several program options for in-demand fields, look no further. Create your own path today at scf.edu. And welcome back to the John Peacock Coach Show here from Bogies and, uh, Again, we had some good food tonight, and I hope everybody can come down and support bogeys during football season, ready to crank up this weekend with uh, the full slate of NFL games coming up. So I'm sure this place will be very, very crowded with uh, with, with avid football Well, you can fans. already see tonight there's a, they have a little bit more yeah. little crowd than when we started. It, it's Everybody starts to come out of their yeah. summer hibernation, if you want to call it that. Right. But especially this summer, it was, it was rough going, so no doubt. Moving forward, Miami Northwestern, Saturday night, 6 p.m., um, and uh, – Again, a perennial power, multiple state championships. Uh, I know a new coach this year, but I got to figure that this is uh, this is going to be a, p- a pretty similar style and similar similar uh, type of team that Miami North has, Northwest has put up in other years. Yeah, you know, watching the film, they they pretty much line up the same way. They're going to man you up uh, and cover one on defense, and uh, they throw the ball around a little bit more. Um, as to where last year. Uh, they ran the ball a little bit more. They had a couple backs um, that could really get the job done. and So th- that's the one thing that has changed the most is they throw it around a little bit more than they have in the past, but they have some superior athletes. I mean, it's going to be no different than any other Mi- Miami Northwestern team that they've had in the past. Uh, they've, they lost the first game to Vero Beach 22-20. to um, They had four touchdowns called back, and they had 32 accepted penalties against them. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so – and then, and then last week they played Miami Jackson and they beat Miami Jackson seventy to, you know, whatever it may have been, like fourteen probably, but it was a, a definite blowout. So they have um, 
they have some really good football players um, and a good football team and uh, unbelievable speed. Uh, like we won't see that type of speed again uh, for the rest of the year. Yeah, and said you you know that they're going to be excited to be playing in that stadium, Travis Powell Stadium, the yes. mecca for high school football. Um, very very. I mean, it's it's for Venice. It's 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 a great competition. It's what you want to what you want to do, want to do regular season wise. But just going down there, it's the experience of going down there, big big stadium, artificial turf, Saturday night. It's got to be interesting. It's an interesting dynamic that I'm sure the kids are going to look back at as from the career and say like, remember that night, remember that game. Yeah, and like I said, they're they're playing in the mecca of of high school football, and a lot of a lot of great great players have played in that stadium and. Uh, Nike just redid it a couple years ago. Put a couple million dollars in it. A few NFL players yeah. put like put some money towards it. And Teddy Bridgewater, I think one of the unique things on the the fill of the uh, turf is made by old Nike shoes that they ground up. So well, it's multicolored. Yeah, oh, yeah, there are all types of colors. You know, red, blue, yellow, black. It looks it's different. The, it definitely looks different. Um, but it's it's really it's a nice nice playing surface. It is. Um, so it's I would say there's a little bit more bounce to it than a normal the tires being ground up. Uh, so, so that's a neat that's a neat deal, and uh, you know we're excited to play, and you know we're playing a really good football team. So, who knows what's going to happen? You know, we right. got we got to play well. We're going to be on the road at their place, and they're probably going to have you know you know some some home calls, and we're got to overcome them. And like I said, all the, these 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 players that the team in particular, they this the love of competition that they play like we do. This is this is not going to be shocking to them to come for us no, to come into town no they're used to playing a tough schedule just like we are uh they, they you know they have the likes of you know miami central and heritage and all those schools down south that they play oh they so, played vero already and vero's always been a perennial right, power vero, down there right, right and so you figure they're all they're playing these different these all these different teams and like i said just to, just in their neighborhood let's say the, t- the teams they share yeah, the stadium right with, down the field they're 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 top 10 well, yeah, in the country i think that you think who are the teams that use the field? You Miami got Central. Central. I think you Miami Northwestern. I think Miami Senior does too. I'm not sure, but I know Central and Northwestern. They, they've they've yeah. always been the ones that seem to. That's the right. where everybody kind of goes to see, and that's that's again that they play each other, or they know each other, and again they're just used to that level of competition. City of Miami in general has always been sort of that right. had that had that that talent level that um, it's just I mean it, if anything uh, I always say I tell I tell folks all the time if you really want to see. Where there's a lot of talent in a very small area. Oh, yes, you go there's to Miami no, and no see doubt that. About that. That's, that's why you see a guy and everywhere you go, you see the, the, the talent. So again, six o'clock Saturday night uh, down at Travis Powell Stadium. We'd love everybody to come down and support the Indians live if, if they can. And we always want to have our our home good good road warriors, we'll call right. them, that make it out to our get games. used to it for the. Uh December 15th game. Yeah, no doubt. No, yeah. We know how to get down there for sure. With that, take a, we'll take our final break. Come back here at Bogies and wrap up tonight's edition of the John Peacock Coaches Show. Be back here in a few. We would like to take a moment to thank these sponsors for making this show a possibility. Jenkins Chevrolet. State College of Florida. Bogies of Venice. Venice Pest Control. Sarasota Ford. Absolute Aluminum. Chick-fil-A, Pelican Plaza, Douglas Jeep, and Lightning Fast Car Wash. Education, career, skill. Find yours right here at the State College of Florida. If you want a flexible schedule with classes offered on campus and online, plus several program options for in-demand fields, look no further. Create your own path today at scf.edu. And we're back here in the John Peacock Coach Show. And Coach, we are where we are right now and heading down to Miami for Saturday night. Any final thoughts? Well, you know, we're in kind of um, uncharted territory here, um, sitting at 0-2. And, and, you know, I, I just want to say that, you know, I, I, like, I like our team. I like a lot of things about it. Uh, we have to get better in some areas. But, the, you know, the one thing that I'm concerned about is, like, the, the, the poison seeping in and, you know, them listening. Because, you know, I think everyone's going to want to take shots right now when sure. they can. and um at at the cost of the players and in general so they can if they can just you know stay on the path and keep their head down and um keep doing what they've been doing um we'll see better days you know i know that you know and i i don't think it's time to hit the panic button no um i think you know everyone just needs to just 
take a deep breath, back up a little bit, and um, you're, you're there's o- some things that we're really close on. Yeah. You get, you're always looking to get better, yep. and you continue to get better and use whatever you need to, to use motivation if this is what's going to motivate you to keep on moving toward, towards your, your end goal, and right. the goals are there. There's and no we're, doubt uh, about it. We're, uh, we're really close in a lot of areas, and we just got to keep working and um, you know, played in two games that – you know, obviously, I think any game you can sit back. I never like to be that guy that sits back and says, you know, if this happened or this happened or this happened. But there's been, you know, you play teams like that, and even when you win, you know, you can change a few plays, and that can be the difference of the ball game. So we just got to keep working. We got we got really talented players that have doing done some really good things, and I am I am not hitting the panic button. Yeah, not even close. It. I haven't yeah. even. I haven't, looked at it or turned it on yet that's so, good no um, and i think that'll permeate through the whole team i'm sure and we are uh, we're going to be just fine with that thank you for joining us tonight we'll see you here next week on the john peacock coaches show Champion. At Venice High School, all we do is win. Man, it feel good to be an Indian.